So I've got a brand new setup guide today for Android users out there, and this is going to be a good one for Commodore 64 fans. So if you're anything like myself, you're a big lover of Commodore systems, specifically Commodore 64. And that's probably why you're going to see so many videos on my channel for Commodore 64, as well as Commodore Amiga. Big Commodore fan here. So I've looked around for Android emulators to emulate C64 games. And I've come across Mobile C64, so I've had a good look at this. And of course, it's a free version, and it does say in-app purchases. So once we install the app, uh, there are certain options within it which you will need to pay for, but that doesn't limit us from playing our own games. So in this setup guide, I'm going to give you a run-through of what this can and can't do. I'm going to look at showing you how to load up your games and where to get your games from. So check this video out. Okay, so if you're new to my channel and you like what you see today, and of course you're a big Commodore 64 fan, you have found the right channel for that, guaranteed. So hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. So we're looking at Mobile C64 today, and I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the name on this one at all. So what we're going to do is just head over to the Google Play Store and download this free version. Uh, like I said in the intro, it does require in-app purchases if you want to do specific things, but that's not going to limit us from playing games. I've already tested this, so I'm going to press on install on this. And just let this one install. And uh, once we're do done this, I'm going to show you where we can get some games, some classic C64 games, as well as modern homebrew C64 games to test on this. And I'm also going to be showing you the virtual keyboard on this and other bits and pieces. So just give this a little while to install. And here we go. So once this is installed, just let your antivirus scan it if you've got one. Uh, we're going to press play on this. Now you get a little welcome screen and it gives us a little heads up that it can be emulated using a keyboard. So if you've got a Bluetooth keyboard, then link that up with your Android device. I don't have one, so I'm going to be just strictly using the screen on this to touch on. And it's also telling us that it actually makes use of trackball. So for people out there who loved Marble Madness back in the day, if you happen to have a trackball, here is your chance to enjoy Marble Madness on C64 with a trackball. So I'm going to just press OK on this little welcome screen. Now, the first thing I want to make you aware of is I've got this on widescreen at the moment. But if I turn my phone around, we've now got a keyboard, a virtual keyboard. And as you can see, we've also got a little joystick and a fire button. So if I turn this back around, what we're going to do is just take a look at this. So there's three vertical lines on the top right here I'm going to press on. Now, if we go down to find games, this is going to take us over to the c64.com website. And this is a very trusted website. It's probably just as old as Lemon64. It's been on the internet for a very long time. But you can actually download games from here, certain games. And one I'm going to test out on this is The Empire Strikes Back, which is a relatively new C64 game. So I'm going to just press on The Empire Strikes Back. And as we can see, this one actually released in 2022. And to download this on this website, you'll just see downloads now. But like I say, it's not all games. Uh, just download this and that's going to download into a .zip file. So let's go back into the emulator now and try and boot this one up. Okay, so to boot this game up, what I'm going to do is head up to those three vertical lines on the top right. And I'm going to go to attach disk tape image. And from here, we can then select our game, which we just downloaded. So obviously, dependent on wherever your downloads are going to, just find it and press on it. And here we go. So we've got Empire Strikes Back. I've got two of these because I tested one out before I did this setup guide. I'm going to just press on the Empire Strikes Back dot zip. Literally just press on that. And the next thing you're going to see pop up is a little window. And to load this, all we need to do is press on the game itself. So I'm going to be pressing on Empire STR dot back.
Now, let me just remind you that Commodore 64 games to this day are really designed to run for what's called port 2. So on the real Commodore 64, there's two ports for joysticks. So for example, right now, I'm presuming this game was designed to run from port 2 because I'm pressing on the fire button and nothing's happening. So to change the ports over, to change the joystick to port 2, so I'm going to head up to those three vertical dots on the top right here. And if I just press on there, what I'm going to do is toggle joystick. And as we can see, joystick port 2 is now active. So if I go into the game now by pressing the red fire button, we're now in. And if you fancy a full screen rather than having this almost four by three ratio, we should go up to those three vertical dots again. Just press on those. And if you just scroll down using your finger, or even if you're using a Bluetooth keyboard, just go down to enter full screen mode. And the picture is a little bit bigger now. So some of you's gonna like that, some of you's not. And you know, a really cool feature with the Mobile C64 emulator is that it's actually got the ability to save games. So there's a little floppy disk image, which you can find on the top here. Uh, third one in from the left, if we just press on this, by using the free version, we can actually use this option. But if you upgrade to it, you will then have the ability to save your games and then load them. So if you like the look of this emulator, support the developer and just press upgrade. This is something I'm going to do in the future more than likely. Let's say, for example, you've got a game which has got multiple discs and that's nothing out of the ordinary for the C64. Let's say something like Newcomer by Protovision, which came out in the very early 2000s. I think that game uh, contains something like 10 separate discs. So let's just say you've got a game which has multiple discs with it. You need to load from disc two. To do this, just press on those three vertical dots again at the top right side. And we go to select drive. And from here, you can insert your discs into a number of four drives here. So drive one, drive two, drive three, drive four. Now in Commodore 64 terms, uh, you've got the hashtag eight, hashtag nine, hashtag 10, hashtag 11. In Commodore uh, meanings, those are what the Commodore 64 recognizes when you go to load those disks using Commodore Basic. So that option is there if you've got a game and you've got multiple disks with it. It's just a simple case of clicking on, say, drive two or number nine. And it's pretty straightforward to work out that way. And some more settings or other features what this has got. If we go back up again to those three vertical dots at the top, we go down to edit settings from here on screen joystick if we press on this one you can change the look of how your on-screen buttons look for example if i just go to on-screen joystick plus buttons and what i'm going to do next is just show you how to reset your game so if i go back up again to those three vertical dots at the top right just press on those and if i just go down to reset c64 we got option here of soft or hard reset so i'm going to press hard just to get rid of all the data which has been stored and that's going to bring us back to the blue screen. So we can even use the virtual keyboard on mobile C64 to program ourselves. Although it's a little bit small if you're using something like I'm using right now for this, which is a Samsung S21, uh, the keyboard keys or the virtual keys are fully functional. And on the bottom left where the forward slash is, if you press on that, you also get lots of other buttons come up. So it's not quite accurate to a real C64 keyboard, but the basics are there. And for those wondering if there's particular sound settings, if a game doesn't sound right, there is. So if I load up my Empire Strikes Back game again,
again. So just got those three vertical dots at the top. Uh, attach disk tape image. And of course, it's another case of finding, locating your game. So just to make you aware, again, to run these games, just press on where it says Empire STR Strikes Back. So the sound isn't too great on this at the moment. So what we're going to do is just go down to Edit Settings. And from Edit Settings, just make sure the sound is actually checked. And what we're going to do to improve that sound is just click on or rather press on video. And if you leave this to auto, I find that some games do lag with the sound. If I put this to four or three and go back to the game. So finally, in addition to the website which the emulator takes us to, I'll quickly go through some websites that I use myself for C64 games, and this is CSDB. Uh, this is Commodore 64 Scene Database. So you'll get a lot of games on here, and if we click on latest releases, you'll get everything from C64 SID chip music to graphics to demos, and you'll notice there's files here saying crack. So crack means that someone's almost applied trainers to it, and trainers means cheats. And cheats can be activated on some of these games. When you open or boot the game, we can use the virtual keyboard on the emulator to bypass uh, what by pressing F keys, function keys, or Y and no, that type of thing. So to download one of these games on CSDB, all we need to do is just say, go on to this game and just close this down. And just go down to the download section. Now, CSDB, largely the games are free, but there are games which you do need to pay for, but it will normally say commercial only. So just download the game by clicking on the link. And another website which I highly recommend, especially for modern C64 games, is Itch.io. So Itch.io is an indie development website for games, uh, mainly kind of retro-inspired games. So just simply go to Browse Games at the top there, select a tag, and just say type in C64, and press enter or go and you'll get a lot of different games come up uh, some of these you'll have to pay for uh, sam's journey i highly recommend this one of the best probably uh most demanding games on the c64 which sold a lot of copies which that one when that one came out back in 2017 uh, games like fix it felix jr is free uh, we got some Sidetronic games as well. So Sidetronic is a website or rather a C64 publisher who's been going since the 90s. But they've got their own dedicated website, but you can also buy Sidetronic games through Itch.io. And things like Robot Jet Action, that's independent games where the developer of this has made a few games in the past, I believe. And they're largely free games. And Sarah Jane Avery games are also uh, purchasable through this website. And just to let me remind you, that Sarah Jane Avery is a highly regarded coder nowadays for C64 games. I think back in the day she was a regular sort of full-time coder. So lots of games on here. Another one I seriously recommend, which is also free, is Ooze the Escape. This one came out about two months ago, and it's a really cool game. So if you want to download a game through itch.io, just press on to the game you want, and just go to Downloads Now. And this will give you an option to pay the developer for his hard work, which I always recommend if you can afford it. It just encourages them to make games in the future. But if you don't want a fund, then just go to No Thanks, just take me to the downloads, and then you can download your game from here. Just download on the .zip. So that's it for my setup guide today for C64 emulation on Android devices. This is personally what I use today in 2023 for my C64 games and programming. This is the awesome C64 Maxi by Retro Games Limited. So for those of you not aware, uh, yes, we can play Commodore 64 games on new hardware today. And if you're really into Commodore, just like I am, this is absolutely, without a doubt, the quintessential thing to buy here in 2023 or at least i think so anyway so yeah if you're new to my channel make sure to hit notifications subscribe and like and that'll get you up to date emulation related content as i upload it on a daily basis pretty much 
And I'm also on social media, so be sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So until next time, stay retro. Thank <laughs> you.